1st, 1939. Does that date mean anything to you? Three years ago, the whole world mourned the loss of Britain's newest submarine, Thetis, and the 99 men who perished in her. Although we were still at peace, the war clouds were gathering and the tragedy which came to so many homes in Birkenhead replaced the word crisis, which was the daily headline in the newspapers. She went out on her acceptance trials in Liverpool Bay and dived. Something went wrong. She failed to surface. Frantic efforts were made to rescue the entombed men, but of her occupants only four escaped. For five long months, Thetis lay locked in silence beneath the waves. These are the pictures we showed you at the time of the disaster, and we have good reason to show you them again. During the early months of war, Thetis was resurrected, and one day, secretly, she sailed out of the Mersey River, a new and living thing. As His Majesty's submarine Thunderbolt, she started on her way to win a glorious history. After more than a year of successful operations with a long list of sinkings to her credit, Thunderbolt is back in port. By an extraordinary coincidence, a parallel story concerns the ill-fated American submarine Squalus, which was lost under similar circumstances a few days before Thetis went down. Many of her crew were lost, but others were saved by the timely use of the diving bell. From her grave 40 fathoms deep off the New England coast, Squalus was raised. Here was another story of a sunken submarine being put back into commission. Eventually, she sailed again under her new name, Sailfish. Today, she is an efficient and important unit of America's submarine fleet in the Southwest Pacific. She has covered many thousands of miles in operations in those far waters. She has sunk a Japanese destroyer. She has torpedoed a Japanese cruiser and sent her torpedoes into other units of the Mikado's Navy. Two of her projectiles found a target on an aircraft carrier. Sailfish and Thunderbolt have much in common. Three of the men who went down with Aspalus are today serving on Sailfish. Ships that once were lost have risen from the depths to fight for their countries. Yesterday's tragedies are the glories of today. <laughs>